to her crib. Give you all the ins and outs of it. Uh, behind the scenes. I mean, y'all seen snippets of it in some of my other videos, but if you have my social media account. If not, this may be your first time. This is Peace Corps Thailand, by the way. This is not reflective of everybody's home makeup, so I must present that to you. But this is mine, so why waste any more time? All right, let's get to it, man. We have the rice storage center. Yeah, my, I think my pa made this uh, not too long ago, but this is where they store the rice. These been stored in here ever since I got here, and this been two months, so I think we probably won't be grabbing these for a while. Be hot in here, so I think it's that interesting. But I do like this backdrop, man. I, that's cold, isn't it? Um, you come to this side, you have a little port. You just come under here. You should put some lawn chairs out here. You got my bike, my baby. This is a trek. This is the only thing I can ride while being over here. But you come over here. We had a dog kennel. They had a few dogs over here uh, before mine. And they have another one on the other side too, which I will show you, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Glad they made it so I can separate them if need be. These are outdoor bathrooms. This is the only squat toilet here, which is it's cool. I'm not complaining about it. Nobody uses it, but this is a, a, a thing in Thailand. People use squat toilets. And then, you have a regular toilet. You have a regular toilet. Y'all know this is nothing new, but if the water is not working over here, we usually store water right here, and then you scoop it, pour it into the toilet, flushes like normal. So yeah, let's get out of here, let's get out of here. Look what's going on over here. On the other side, you have the yard area. You have Onyx, my beautiful puppy. I have three puppies. I have three of them. Where are the other ones? Okay, they're under here. Say what's up, say what's up. Say what's up. This is a place I come every morning uh, when I come back from my bike ride. Uh, I'm glad my pa put this here last week. I told him I wanted it and he's, he's such a handyman and I helped him do the other one at the other uh, farm. But I told him I'll help him when he gets home. He came on his lunch break and did it himself. He's a superstar. Love that guy. Dun, 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 dun. Hope y'all were just as surprised as I am. As soon as you walk in, this is an open space. It's not too much furniture, which is good. You're not running into things except Kala. He's always in the way. She's getting ready to have some kitties. So she's laying around too much. I understand. Base belonging. She sell most of this stuff at the market on Saturdays. Uh, probably gonna go tomorrow. I'm gonna do an actual vlog on that too. So may do it tomorrow. May do it next week. Who knows? Turn left. I got these blinds closed because they weren't here last night. So come over here, and this is my compound. I got my Peace Corps box that I have yet to unpack, and I have my big dresser here. So clutch, man. So happy that they have this here. It's definitely clutch. And as you can see, I'm in the process of washing clothes. Have some drawers, have some essentials up there. So yeah, this comes in handy. Comes in handy. Have a clothes rack here. Try to put my towels on and everything. Yeah, so this is a uh, open space. It's usually hot in here. There's no AC. Oh yeah, I forgot to yeah mention that this crib. I was so blessed. I didn't even ask for it. I told Peace Corps, I have no preferences. Put me wherever you want. I can adapt. I can, I can handle it. But thankfully, this uh, family they already hosted a volunteer prior to me. Um, so I guess she wanted the AC unit, and they were figured I wanted it too. So which I was complaining about it. Happy that I do have it, but say all that to say, this area does not have an AC unit, which is cool. Don't need it, I'll probably just run up the bill because these windows cannot close. I don't know if you guys can see it, kinda 
open at all times, which is good and bad because constant influx of mosquitoes. But the good thing about my room is that I have a screen. I have a screen. You guys can see that, right? Yeah, I have a screen here. And then this door locks. Let me show y'all. Oh, turn this light for y'all. Welcome to my room. I do have my mosquito net because even though I do have this screen, somehow mosquitoes still find their way in. And it's mostly because I don't close the door as fast as I need to. But it's all good. I have my Rubik's Cube that I do sometimes and my little brother gave me my bed. In my map. This is a map that Peace Corps gave every volunteer. I got Psalms 91 up here. And then you come over here. But well, let me just pan up. This is my prized possession right here, man. My prized possession. I let me let me say this. I didn't realize how much of a luxury AC was until I came here. Everybody does not have AC here. And back in the States, we take that for granted. We just go home and it's automatically on. We don't think about it. Parents pay for it, whatever. It's normal. Here, it's not, it's a luxury. Um, so I wasn't, I didn't come here expecting to have it. But when I did see it, I was like, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So always count your blessings. So you come over here. I have this nice piece of wood. Oh man. I have my power outlet, which leads all the way over here. And then you come over here and you see all my loved ones. And these are not all of them, but the ones that were able to get printed out that my mom did. I'm so grateful for it. It's like, I look over here every day and it puts a smile on my face. I can just show y'all some of them. My bro, JD, with the Stetson together. Cousin, first cousin, George. We got Mo Do, Auntie, Lil Bro, Uncle Nut, Nana, my mom's, love her to death, Chantal, my granny, everybody, man, everybody. My little sister, Miss Adili, aunties, cousins, uh, man, my, my family, my ex. <laughs> All love, man. All love, dog. Yeah, this is my love wall. Oh, my little cousin BJ. You know, he's killing the game right now. I just love seeing him shine. Every time I go on Instagram, he's, you know, he's getting another offer from these colleges, man. But it's a testament to his hard work. Love my Uncle Brandon, his dad. Yeah, these are all my loved ones. These are all my loved ones that I'm able to see on an everyday basis on my wall. So. Yeah, that's pretty much my room. So now we're gonna go to the rest of the house. Show y'all things that you haven't seen before. But I have. So I'm not, like, will they be interested about this? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna still do it. So. So we got the door open right now. The dogs don't have to come in. I'm training them, so that's a good thing. I don't have to yell. Oh, we come over here and we have another china cabinet. My maid keeps all her flask in there. They have portraits. Um, and then we have our refrigerator. I got my lychee juice. Sip on this every night. It's nothing but sugar, but why not? Why not? Why not? Yeah, I don't got too much in there. Like you're ready to go shopping, so. But you come in here. Oh, this is my. My grandfather, who's the Nayok, the mayor, um, his family, they're the king and queen, like the prior king and the queen, they're in everybody's house. I have yet to go in a house where there's not a picture, not this exact picture, there's not a picture of them in the house. That's just how much they revere uh, the monarchy here. But we come in here, and this is where my parents come in and they get their clothes. This is a storage space for them. My pa comes in here and he has all his work clothes, which is cool. So, 
yeah, not much. I don't come in here for anything. This is all them. I'm gonna come in here for the video. We have our bathroom. So we have a regular Western toilet, which is good. It flushes, it's normal. The reason I'm showing y'all this, and y'all know, is these are luxuries. Everybody doesn't have Western toilets in Thailand. Everybody doesn't live like this. I mean, we're not living high and mighty. They just end up having a Western toilet. Here's, let me show y'all this, man. Oh my gosh, this is a luxury. Another luxury that I must show y'all, man. We have a shower head. <laughs> I know y'all probably laughing. Like, has this dude never seen a shower head before? But like, over here, I didn't expect it. Like, we were warned in training to not expect the luxuries, the same luxuries that we have in the States. Like, another luxury that I have. Hot water. You turn this thing on. Well, let me just let me waste it. I don't want to come on, man. So, so the thing about this, let me not waste any water. So this comes on. Put it off like this. All right. This doesn't always work. Although we do have it, the water doesn't always flow. And it's not just our house. It's a community thing. There, there is a water shortage in this community. And because it's rain season right now, there's no shortage of it. But when the water's not flowing, it's not coming through the shower head. Therefore, we have to use this and we prepare to fill this up for when there's no water coming out of here. As you can see, there's water. And all you do is scoop this bad boy and get the water will be cold. There's no guarantee that it's gonna be warm. But if you have no other source of water, you gotta make do what it do. You gotta take cold showers. But I love them though. I love them, I love them, I love them. So that's our bathroom. It's a bathroom area. You come over here, we have an iron on board. I barely iron. Cause as soon as I go outside, it's so hot that it gets all the wrinkles out for me. But then we come to our kitchen area. Yeah, I love this space because I love to eat. Well, we come. Let's let's take a left. Let's take a left first. We have another storage area where nobody really comes over here and touch anything except Kala's food. She's gonna make sure you give her, and she's gonna follow you around if you don't. But this is where we hang up our our clothes after they get out of the. I will show y'all what I'm talking about. Another luxury that we have which I'm so glad to have it, because I know everybody doesn't have the luxury of having a washing machine. Let me just say it, man. I can't, I can't get around from saying it. I just, I just wanted to show y'all, but I'm pretty sure y'all already put two and two together. Anyway. Oh, uh, man, we walk out here and see cars passing by. That leads into the front yard. It's so beautiful out today. It's a perfect day to record, so why not do it? today because we don't want to waste electricity always unplug if you're not using always unplug and in the states we keep it plugged up right uh yeah has enough space to fit all my clothes thank the lord uh, come over here this leads to uh, someone else's yard and we have a little alleyway back here which had to block off on the other side because my dogs keep going back there and these are big dogs back here they're not here right now i don't know where they are they probably roam in the community um so yeah it works whenever there's water running as i said about the shower this works whenever it's not running can't use it you guys come over here i'm gonna show you it my man pa this is my man she's a, a nurse and my pa who's a balai and similar to i would compare to in the states a commissioner in a way it's not quite the same but we work he works at the local government office um but yeah so yeah that's pretty much it peace court thailand is really where it's at but i hope y'all enjoyed the vlog man it's been real see you on the next video